since Nikki's Queen Radio um, that's called Live from New York that happened on Friday, September 22nd, 2023, it's been a lot of conversation um, back and forth about like how that Queen Radio went, what people expected, what they did like and what they didn't like. A lot of things on what they didn't like. And even though we have, um, Nikki has transitioned from Apple Music to Amp uh, now, has, that's been going on for almost two years. March 2024 will make it about two years since Nikki has been with Amp for Queen Radio. And so what I wanted to do today was just start a conversation about like the difference between Queen Radio and Apple Music versus Amp and what we thought was better or like what is, what could, how could Queen Radio be better? And please forgive me, I have no, absolutely no notes, no talking points, no nothing. I just wanted to come on here and talk for a couple minutes. So yeah, that's what I wanted to do. And so, because the thing is, it's like, I was thinking about it and I was like, I don't really think that there really is a difference between Apple Music and Queen Radio on Amp. Like, let's be honest, what was the difference? The difference was that like with Apple Music, Nikki was really in the uh, formal studio, right? Where she could record what that's more like a podcast studio. With Amp, she kind of has best of both worlds where she has access to a studio, but she Amp is so like personal that you can literally do it from your bed, which is how she does it most of the time. And, you know, I don't, think sometimes I don't really see I can't say sometimes when it comes with Nikki with Amp I can't say that oh Nikki in the studio is better than Nikki when she's just chilling at home I can't say that because some of the best amps and conversations and queen radios have come from that um a very casual setup where she really is at home chilling I feel like sometimes a lot of the times when you have a big production and a lot of people are in the room you, sometimes it could add a little bit of pressure, but also it that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a fruitful conversation. I'll, I'll you know say it as that. And so I think that when it comes to having a conversation, it's really just like the vibe and what knowing what you want to get accomplished. And I think here is where Nikki could use some help. And I don't know if Nikki ever had like a production team, you know, more there's a technical aspect of production, making sure that you have the technology and equipment that you need. And then there's also the other part of production. I don't even know what to call it right now, where you literally kind of get help on to how to produce, how to run a show and stuff like that. And I don't know if Nikki ever had any sort of production with Apple Music. You know, I know she had a close relationship with Larry Jackson, who was instrumental um, in her Queen Radio deal with Apple Music. But I don't know if Nikki has that same relationship with Amp. And in the Queen Radio that happened on um, September 22nd, there was an Amp um, employee in there because I heard her say like, oh, John or something in the other room. Like, can, can you turn down the bombs? But like, I think that they're really there for technical support and not... Um, the other type of support that I feel like Nikki needs. I definitely do feel like Nikki needs a um, some sort of production manager or whatever that can help her stay on topic. I did hear someone say like, oh, you know, so when she's responding to tweets, I really don't like that. And I, I'm like in between on it because it's like, I like when she responds to tweets because it's like, I do a live show as well. And it's actually a lot of work. Um, and you have to be, your eyes is in a lot of place. You're looking at your chat, who's there with you right now. And you're also looking at other social media. If you use other social media and other media sources in order to have a conversation. So I know how that process is. And I really respect Nikki for being able to do that, being able to carry a conversation across platforms in real time i feel like it's a real skill and not a lot of people can do that but she is so dedicated to her fan base and what her fans are thinking that she really does make it work so i like it however sometimes when she is reading like stupid comments or whatever it's kind of annoying because i'm also a person who can lose their train of thought very fast <laughs> like nikki and so i'm just like girl please stay on topic because uh, I, I really i just really want to be having a conversation and even um in the last queen radio she wanted to get about cocksucker of the day award and we didn't get to that because it was just too much going on and honestly she probably forgot honestly and maybe or maybe she really didn't want to do it or maybe that was another pump fake thing where she was baiting people and baiting the blogs to see who she would award and stuff like that but those are some things where it's like uh you heard her come in and she was like yo um i need a pen and a pad so i can make an, a list of things that i want to of the segments of the show and so i'm like well what happened to that list can we go back to that list like i i really be wanting to know like 
what Nikki has to say, what she wants to get out of, or off her chest because she'll read comments and then it's like, she'll totally forget everything she wants to say. And it's like, I'm here for you. I want to listen to you. I want to listen to what you feel like is important to communicate to me right now. And that's really what I just want to be focused on. So I definitely do at the very least wishes that she has somebody to help her guide her conversation um, and have those talking points as to what she wants to accomplish. Because yeah, you know, and just because you do everything on your list doesn't necessarily mean you'll walk away with having a great show because a lot of times like the best shows that I have is things that are unplanned things that I didn't plan to say people come through that I didn't plan on coming through you know I didn't plan for this to have a conversation here so I put um you know you guys can come join me on amp that's where I do my live conversations same place Nikki does her live conversations and you know we can get into this more there but anyway that's me on amp um but what else? I also think that Queen Radio um, on Apple Music was a little bit more explosive because that's where Nikki was at a time in her life and in her career where she wanted to address things head on and being with a different sort of beast with um, Cardi and um, Lotto, right? Where these are two women that she has addressed directly. I feel like Nikki truly has learned her lesson as to not message these people because they've only gotten clout off of her and only they've only gained you know a career off of her off of that and um and so because of that nick i don't see nikki ever addressing anyone directly and therefore that's why a lot of our conversation with her these days is her speaking in code and i don't really see anything wrong with it i just wish that like um I think a lot of with the same thing that a lot of people were saying that like you know if she knows what she's gonna do and what she wants to accomplish and she knows she's not gonna go in like you know whatever you know I, I don't like the getting of people's expectations like so high with the promotion a lot of times and not just with Queen Radio even with the VMAs Nikki tends to hide things up a lot because she's proud of what she does and I respect it and I appreciate it but for me personally i know at the end of the day i will be the judge as to if i'm gonna like a song if i'm gonna like a show if i'm going to like whatever it is that she's promoting and that she's selling to us as a product so i like promotion but not too much promotion especially if it's not gonna be as explosive as we thought it was gonna be but um you know y'all can drag me for that below but you know i'm here regardless i'm a support her regardless and stuff like that that doesn't change anything about how closely i'm gonna tune in i'm always gonna tune into what the queen has to say and shout out to the people who tune in when it's or not all of this drama going on because i've experienced that too where it's like people only come to my show when they know something is about to go down and it's like bro i be here every day not talking about drama and stuff like that but nobody cares you know like nobody just cares when you want to have a genuine conversation they only care about their entertainment and what they can get out of it but um anyway i might do like another video on this or whatever i'm not sure yet um but i, I just wanted to get that off real quick and, you know, if you guys have more points as to, like, how Queen Radio was different from Apple Music and what things that we can take to make the show better. Not that Nikki's going to listen to this or anything, but I'm just curious as to um, what you guys think and obviously keep it respectful and, you know, all of that constructive criticism and stuff like that. You know, not too much on the Queen, but, you know, definitely I, I really just want to have a genuine combo. So if you're still here, thank you so much. Please like the video and um, let me know in the comments how you guys feel and um, turn on the notification bell when you subscribe so that we can continue this conversation. But y'all have a great day.